And the gods have made it happen. Joining me, as always, two shows in a row. You ask for him, you get him. Here he is. He's got a brand new show on Rockfin called Look Into It. My brother from another mother, Eddie Bravo. Thank you very much. Dude, dude <laughs> I'm so blessed. We never do two shows in a row, but I had to be on this Jim Brewer episode. There's yeah. just no way I'm going to skip this one. <laughs> and, uh, you know, super excited to have him on. Always been a big fan of his, but over the last year or so, Became a super duper fan. Uh, he's got a podcast called the B- Bureverse. Please welcome Jim Bure. How are you, brother? <laughs> you did a great job trying that. Um, <laughs> I'm trying that. <laughs> he throws everyone off. I let, you went brew, brew, brew. You do what I do. Yeah. You, mo- you go like, hey, keep going. It's, it's, it's Eddie right there. I am mumble mouth. I don't know how I make a living talking, <laughs> but I am a mumble mouth. Jim, man, so nice. uh, honor and a privilege, man, to have you on. Thanks for joining us on our podcast. You're going to be putting us out all, to your places, so it's an honor to be on your podcast. How are you, yeah. man? I'm doing good. I'm li- a I, um, little injured for the time being. I, I pulled a calf muscle or tore the calf muscle two nights ago in Tampa. I literally thought someone threw something at me on stage. I was bouncing around and I felt a pop. I oh. felt like, and it was a night after the Oscars and I turned around like, are we throwing shit now? <laughs> and, and I realized the crap, no one was looking weird and there was nothing on the stage. I got really confused. And then I took a step. I was like, oh, this is not good. So, yeah, I, I got to get an MRI and whatever. I'm going out for like 12, 13 days, but whatever. I'll be on crutches. I don't care. Uh, man, I'll the, be a sit-down comic. I'm fine Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah. You'll get your own sitcom. Uh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the warranty's up on this body, bro. The warranty's up, and uh, everything needs repairs, and it doesn't matter. It, it's just, it's, it's hurt, but that's where we are, dude. You should get stem cells. I just got stem cells on my shoulder. I have a torn labrum, and I got stem cells in my back. I had back surgery, and now uh, the vertebrae on top of the back surgery is like a bulging. So they shot me up, went to Mexico, Tijuana. It's first rate, man. I know it's not like Tijuana, but, dude, this, this hospital is called Chipsa. Man, it's, it's, uh, they fixed this shoulder. I went a year ago and they did this one. This, this shoulder's 100%. Now we're going to, we went on the other back? side. I did go back. I went last week. And how's it? It's feeling great? Well, it takes a couple months, two, three months to, to regenerate and regrow shit, but um, it's fucking awesome, man. It's a cancer hospital and they have the latest cancer shit there, but they also do stem cells too. That's fucking Chipsa. great. Chipsa. They're awesome. So uh, Eddie about. was fanboying out before the show. Loves uh, loves all your movies. Oh, half baked? Are you kidding? You remember back in the day? Back it was. I think it was. It was nineteen ninety eight. Where uh, if you got a black box, like if you had like a black illegal pay per view box, like they they just show the movie like all day on a loop, right? So I had Matrix all day on a fucking loop. Saw Matrix one a million times, and also half baked. I knew there was a time where me and the girlfriend I had back in the day, she was a stripper. I used to DJ at a strip club. So I, had a, I was forced to date strippers. No, no, <laughs> normal, normal girls would never date me. Um, but anyways, we would just sit there and watch. That thing would just be on all fucking day. And that's right. It was right when I started smoking weed, too. Right when I started smoking weed, I see half big, And it fucking blew me away. But my friends that were stoners their whole life, they thought it was silly. They're like, what is this? I go, you guys don't think this is the greatest fucking movie ever? <laughs> It's like, it's a movie for, for stoke, because in the beginning it shows how they got into it when they were kids, and they accidentally smoked weed in a, or not accidentally, but they went in, a, in an alley, and then they went into a 7-Eleven. That shit was the funniest thing for me, because when you first start smoking weed, you get the munchies real bad. I don't get them anymore, I've been smoking weed forever now, but... Uh, when you first start smoking, you get munchies like a mug. You have a gigantic family bag of Skittles, and you just can't fucking stop. So, <laughs> Half Baked crushed me. I thought it was the greatest fucking movie ever, man. I mean, uh, we would do a thing where, like, you know, on default, if we didn't have anything to talk about, I would just say a line from the movie, and the game was, if you didn't say the line right after it, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> 
You know, so <laughs> <laughs> like you're not paying attention. What's wrong with you? You don't know the next line. <laughs> Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? Jan? <laughs> Jan? <laughs> Can you be my girlfriend? She goes, I'm. I'm gay. <laughs> okay. Oh, good for you, man. What's, what's good that for like? You, man. What's that like? What's that like? <laughs> oh, man. <What's> that? <laughs> oh, man. That was like oh, when my true. when I was in. What year did Half Baked come out around? Like 98. Nine, nine, it was 98 then, yeah. So, like, I don't know when it, uh, Days and Confused came out, but my all my buddies smoked weed all the time. And literally for one year straight, you would go over and they would just watch fucking Days and Confused every day, all the time, <laughs> every day. And you, they would just say the lines as yeah, they yeah, were going. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, <laughs> it's fucking hot in here. Is there a t-shirt I could wear? You guys have like a tinfoil hat t-shirt or something? Just or like do. a wife beater or something? Just take off your shirt, bro. Fuck no. Okay, I'll, I'll sweat. I'm just going to sit here and sweat. <laughs> so, Jim, man, you know, uh, I've been following you for a long time. And, you know, I've been really uh, enjoying the journey that you've been on. I've watched you kind of, uh, you know, Eddie sent me when you were on... Uh, uh kume's show and he was uh you know you were kind of talking about how you got to where you are in terms of your your views of the world and uh when when did that for those who didn't see that interview where did your journey start into what we would call quote unquote conspiracies and all that stuff how long have you been uh into this kind of uh way of seeing the world to be dead honest with you Probably right before nine eleven. I mean, when when uh, when the first Gulf War kicked in. Um, even before that, I was already into it. But when the first Gulf War kicked in, and I saw that P- they created a channel twenty four seven for you to stare at, and everyone was talking about, it, I went, "Wow, this is this is a whole new level of mind control." Yeah, and. And then I saw how they started branching out news. And, you know, I try to talk about it on stage and people thought I was a full-blown loony band and, oh, you're a stoner and blah, blah, blah. And, and then I got into the whole 9-11 thing right as it happened. And people were like, oh, who are you so kind of hippie? Like, people get really pissed. And so I had to, I had to just keep it amongst my tightest friends and I would talk about on my radio show a bunch when I was on satellite radio and um, the whole news and the mind control and programming from the beginning of time. um, I saw it coming a mile away. So I got to say when all this started happening as frustrated as I was and still continue to be, I'm also relieved to see how many people now see it. And are now at least questioning or thinking about it and how many deep levels there truly are. I mean, I, I even with Hollywood, you know, when I was on SNL, I'd, I'd be like, how does, how does no one know this about yeah, yeah, half yeah, these yeah. people? Like, yeah. how do they not know this person isn't, is, is, is gay and not that there's anything wrong with it, but they pretend they're married and they're an awesome power couple. Like it's totally a lie. How does this person? I, and it it was, uh, it's been a long time for me. And I, not until recently now do I feel not relieved, but, um, wow. Now I know I'm not the only one and more and more and more people. That's why I would watch, I would watch Eddie. On Rogan, I'm like, oh, what? What? Oh, what? Oh, baby. Oh, it's oh shit. Spreading. I'm getting chills. Spreading. <laughs> and, other, and I, I see Joe give the, yo, you know, he kind of pretend you're nuts, but I knew you were nuts. I think deep down he knew you were nuts either. We all have to be careful to a degree because you are dealing with an organization that, or organizations. Of death. Of death that yeah. will take you out. It's that... It's that simple, but it's so, the fire is so big and wide and spread now that it's uh, fascinating to watch it unravel. 
I am, uh, I, I, you know, I'm a crazy person, so I was walking my dog just talking to myself, right? And uh, I was just kind of thinking about, like, all the things, like, on this show that Eddie I, and everybody on the show have said and, you know, the stuff that you've been talking about, Jim, and how, like, over time... Like we're more right than we're wrong. I would say we're batting nine fifty at this point. We would be like the greatest baseball player of all time if if we had a batting average, right? And uh, uh, but they'll never admit that. They'll and no, and, no, and, and it's no. like they know it. They know it. They know it. And what we we scare them because everything's so corporate now that you need a thousand people to give you a green light to get the, the dumbest fucking gig possible that you have to bend over backwards in agreement just to, just so nobody hates you. And, and it, it really baffled my mind. It really frustrated me when I started seeing people apologizing and it, it, it just pissed me off. And I wanted, I wanted to talk for them. Like, dude, what are you apologizing for? What do you, you know, it's, you would take, I remember Hank Azario or, or I apologize. I love the guys apologizing for doing a voiceover on a cartoon. How about being pissed at the creators and the network that allows it? So, what, you know, people started taking a hit for people. It bothers me that you allow corporations to control what you say, what you do, the work you make. And they still continue. They are the demonic, soul-sucking, soulless parts of our society. Their job is to re- take out the humanity in everything, take out the soul in everything and just now control you in a demonic soulless empire of slavery. That's all it is. It's, it's slavery. And some people get triggered by that word. There's many levels of slavery. Mental slavery is by far the most powerful. And that's what they, that's what they do. Years ago, people like, Oh yeah, I sold, I sold my business for, and you, you think you're doing a good thing. And you think like, Oh yeah, I'm getting paid out. Little did you know that was the beginning of their game. I would see them ball players, you know, Citibank and PNC and AT&T. And then you'd have ball players going, um, we're just doing our best and looking for the correct pitch. Um, and we exercised that. Like, what are, what, are, what, are, what are we talking to? A robot? I want to see a ball player. No offense <laughs> to ball players, but I'm the dumb as rocks. I mean, let them be dumb as rocks. They hit ball. That's what they do. They're straight out of high school. I want to see a guy going, dude, he threw me inside and he should have known I was going to take him deep. And I know his family was watching because this is a big game for him. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. that. I just, it's a I totally agree with that. sucking monster. So a couple of shows are going on right now. You got Winning Time, which is about the Showtime Lakers. Okay. And That's it's, a good one, though. It's so great, right? Yeah. It's so great. And you just look at it and like, it's like how fun everything was then. And, you know, everyone's always like, oh, dude, it's like, wasn't that great? Wasn't that great back then? I'm like, we could have that again. We could. If you guys would just stop snitching on each other. And just trying to throw people under the bus because you've realized that you're not good enough. Your dreams aren't going to happen. So you've decided to do this Hail Mary pass where everything's okay to stitch on each other. It's like unfucking believable Like, we could have this fun again. People could live their life. Do you think all those women that were hanging out with, with uh, Jerry Buss getting free to... Do you think they hated life? No. Do you think they were like just hopped up on prescription medication like really i mean like i don't want your pronouns in your twitter bio i want to know what prescription medications you're on tell me what you're taking before i hear your tweet we can have all that (laughs) you know the crazy thing about sports is you you grow up and and everyone says dude sports are just a distraction you know and and you hear that it's like the roman emperor you know the fucking circuses for the peasants and all that and you know that and you kind of know that and you're like as a conspiracy theorist you're like yeah that's true it's a distraction but now with all this shit now we know for a motherfucking fact exactly who's involved in all this bullshit yeah. and we know what the distraction is so now well you you, you 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 think like oh shit it's a fact now that sports 
in all sorts of different shit, but sports is like one of the main ones, is meant to distract you, to give you, because they know, they know the slaves only have a certain amount of time to do research. Like, they, they got to figure it out. The Nazis got to figure it out. They go, they got six hours throughout the week to, to look into shit. So fucking let's slam them three hours with fucking basketball, football, whatever. So, like, we know that. Like we know we know the, the major sports organizations are involved in all this bullshit. 100%. We know this. But this is the crazy thing is I, I know that uh, it's confirmed now, but now I use football for distraction because they want us distracted so that we don't pay attention. But guess what? I fucking pay attention all fucking day. Yeah. I pay attention all day. Yeah. And I need a couple hours to not pay attention. So I got to get on football. So I need football. Like, I don't want to hear about Biden for a couple hours. Yeah. I want. I watch Rock Docs and fucking Cleveland Browns. Rock I use it. I use, I use the distractions on purpose. Because it's okay for me because I'm balls deep. I wake up, dude. I wake up. Alex Jones is texting me shit. So all day, all day, I'm on top of what's going on. All day. And then you know what? At, at night, I skip all the fucking politics. I go, I did this for six hours already. I need some bullshit ass documentary on Depeche Mode. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I need. I want to know how they wrote, how they produced the, the synthesizer for Violator. Let me see that for fucking two hours. <laughs> Guess what? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's perfect. That's I use how it. Should it be. I use it. You know, people say a weed. Like they say weed. Oh shit, weed is it's gonna make you dumb. It's gonna make you fucking whatever. I'm like shit. I I it could make you dumb. Like Joe has a perfect analogy. He goes weed is like a, a hammer. You could use it to bang it over bang it over your head, or you could use it to build a house. That's, That's right. exactly how I look at sports now. Yeah. Sports, I'm like, I get it. It's the initial, the initial reason for it is to distract us so we don't pay attention to how they're ripping us off and how they're enslaving right. us. But I'm so balls deep into that shit, now I use it for fucking therapy. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that, in my humble opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And because yeah. you know when the bullshit's coming, yeah. right? Yeah. You know what? You can see it from a mile away, so you kind of like, not nah, not listen to that, just get back to the, you know, the game. And it's very interesting because there used to be a time where you didn't talk politics, you didn't do that, but I think they're so desperate now because people are... It's gotten worse with sports and everything else because we don't listen to their media anymore. So they have to try to bang it into us. Like, I'm sorry, that Chris Rock smack is sad, and I, I'm sad for Chris Rock. We say some people want to think it's fake or whatever. But you know what's more embarrassing to me? The fucking Ukrainian president at the Grammys. You let a, you let a dude who's trying to convince these influencers to influence their listeners to send their sons and daughters to go die for bankers like i'm a, i'm a, i'm like i don't know if i can go back to the grammys after that that's yeah. way that's, more dangerous so than a smash. Trash. As soon as as soon as George Soros and a Marina Abramovic are saying stand for Ukraine, I'm like, wait a minute. Get the fuck what the out fuck? Of here. Wait, wait. A, 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 a Marina Abramovic came out <laughs> and said stand for Ukraine. Yeah. Who let that chick out? Yeah. They gotta bury that. They gotta keep her hidden. And then how about when they made her like the spokesperson or the for, for, for Google no, or no, whatever no, no. Microsoft. Microsoft. And then they pulled it. They pulled yeah. the plug on that shit quick. Can you imagine? Like George Soros, like, who put Marina Abramovic on the, the, the commercial? <laughs> like, that dude is hung, dude. They hung that dude. Like, because I thought it would be a great idea. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I, I was That's so the offended. worst idea ever. I was so offended when I saw that guy talking. I go, dude, what are you doing, man? You're like, you're just trying to brainwash poor kids to go die for bankers that's all you're doing so you get these fucking rich kids who've been juiced into these positions of musicians and all that stuff and they're gonna go around and turn to their fans on tiktok and all these other things and convince them to go and die for bankers in a war that most of these kids who are fans of these these people these artists couldn't find the ukraine on the map if if, if you put a gun to their head yeah yeah Madness. Pure madness. <laughs> madness. Said, now, I didn't see it. I haven't watched a screen. I haven't watched TV, sports, 
nothing in over two, two and a half years. As a matter of fact, my, my daughter will have something on and my wife will have something. I just plow right through it. It just, I can't do it. I just, it's it's I really hard, even. especially movies. Everybody knows blockbuster movies are part of the propaganda. They're trying to hit you from all sides. Entertainment, news, sure. fucking sitcoms. Exactly. They're trying, every, it seems like every goddamn movie has a purpose. And they, right? I love I love the whole Disney stuff coming out right now. It used oh to piss me God. off when I when I I would tell people like rewatch Pinocchio. And why? Like, <laughs> they talk about Pleasure Island. Mm -hmm. So if that was happening back then when they wrote it and it aired, imagine how long this has been real and how do they keep this? A yeah. secret. And I, I even today I was talking to someone like, we're Disney, but like, explain to me what that scene means when they're in the pub and the fox says to the fat dude at the fat gnarly looking group, he goes, uh, you know, the fat guy goes, you want to make some real money? And the fox goes, yeah, he goes, I'm talking real money. Oh, shit. He goes, we steal dumb little boys and we bring them to pleasure island and the fox was oh, what and then he starts whispering in the fox's ear what they're doing to the kids in pleasure island and if you see the fox's eyes going what and then he goes but but and then the guy goes no 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 they don't come back as little boys ah. Damn, we need that scene. Can we find that scene? Demonic. It's got to be on Playboy. Creepy or scene, on, on YouTube. and they basically oh, put it out there. And then they have little animals in cages going to Pleasure Island. They show you what Epstein's Island is. <laughs> now, saying this 20 years ago, I'm a lunatic. Now people are like, yeah, what is that bar scene in Pinocchio? What is this really about? It's well, creepy, satanic, and evil. I mean, it's a I'm character's name is Geppetto. I mean, his name is Geppetto. Petto. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> right? I mean, the guy's I'm, name is... P All he wants is a, a little boy. What are you? What are them conspiracy <laughs> theorists? Do we have the scene? Oh, is this on. it? What are you, a dope smoker? Watch it, out. Is, is this the it's scene? called Let's the pub it. scene. Let's see it. The pub scene. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, this is just as powerful, too. It's the pub scene. Uh, Pinocchio. Oh, there it is. Pub, oh, there yes. it is. Boom. Watch how creepy oh, this is. Oh, shit. There he is. Watch Let's what he it. says. This is so creepy. These are Hollywood jackasses that yeah. he's representing. Yeah. He fell for it. <laughs> he said an actor's life is. Singer. <laughs> <laughs> and he still thinks we're his friends. <laughs> and this Stromboli pay plenty. So this guy's getting a hard on. Oh, yeah, jobs. this guy. Hey, <laughs> Giddy. <laughs> so now. Hello, coachman. Did, did that guy just get nutted What's your on proposition? Face? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Now this guy lives in. you blokes like to make some real money? <laughs> well, and who do we have to... Uh, no, no, nothing like that. You see? He's looking around. Yeah. He's looking around. Mm. They're both looking around. I'm collecting stupid little boys. Ooh. Oh, stupid little my. Boys. You know. Oh, wait. Disobedient ones. What play you give from school? Oh. And you see. And watch how he ends it. Watch what he says at the end. They're telling him to whisper. To Pleasure Island. Uh, Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. But the law. Suppose they. No, no. There's no risk. 
they never come back as boys. Oh my! <laughs> dude, dude, how do you not? Know? I would like anyone from Disney to explain that. Explain to me that's from 1940. He clearly says we bring them to the Pleasure Island and they don't come back as boys. Yeah. Disney has an agenda. But, uh, they have an agenda, movies. so does a lot of television. Do, um, <clears throat> there's so many layers to conspiracy theories. Uh, you know, uh, how, how are you? Have you ever looked into like the moon landing and shit like that? NASA. Oh, that's so doofy. I mean, it's, <laughs> the fact that people still buy that really. Oh, beautiful, it. beautiful. You know, you, so you know Walt Disney and Warner Von Braun were tight, and they basically, uh, Warner Von Braun was the Nazi from Operation Paperclip that they snuck right. in, but they didn't change his name. They just, they put him on camera. He had the German right. accent. He's directing right. all the fake moon missions. Him and Walt Disney right. are fucking jerking each other off, you know? Now, now that you yeah. mentioned that, why do you, why do you think they didn't change his name? That's crazy. They didn't change his fucking name. Because, dude, it's very simple, guys. It's very simple. Why didn't they? They changed because all the other the Germans. Didn't lose the war. No, the but, the, but the, won the war. No, no, but the question is, they and they, are they, the they, Nazis actually Nazis? Who are they really? That's the, another. Big yeah, they're problem. probably oh, not. They're probably not the even. End. They're probably not even Nazis. They're probably just using that just to like distract. There's probably some other name for them that like fucking some I kind always, of demonic I, name. I'm always very, when you start like, hey, 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 you can't talk about that. The, that always makes me go, well, what are you hiding? Exactly. Yeah, let's get into that. that what all are the your time. thoughts on that, Jim? We'll talk about anything here. Yeah, they're putting, la and when YouTube puts a label up on a video, as soon as you mention a fucking word, there's something up right there. Why are you putting labels up? They never put labels up for, for, uh, Pentagon whistleblowers or or Office of Naval Intelligence whistleblowers on UFOs like guys that like you're coming out say I saw UFOs I used to you know I'm in the Pentagon yeah, and back then and back then you would think like oh my god this is legit this guy's from the Pentagon he says he saw UFOs and they're not that guy's not in trouble he wrote a book yeah you know what I mean like yeah, they're yeah, writing yeah. books like they're, like they're not in trouble all the UFO sighting videos I was balls deep in UFOs Jim I was balls fucking deep I thought the government is fucking hiding ufos from us they got all these secret programs they uh, man they had me hook line and sinker man they want everybody to believe in ufos that's of why course. there's all these fucking star wars and star trek they want that shit so when the right. when, when the nazis came over from operation paperclip they said this is like 1946 they said you guys aren't fucking scaring your people with UFOs? And they were like, no, dog. Go, we got to get right on that. So right away, 1947, Roswell, boom! And they blow that shit up. And then right after that, all these fucking uh, comic books with UFOs, Mars attacks. The 50s had all those crazy Mars fucking alien movies. They blew it. They blew that shit up. They blew it up. Yeah. Those are the worst. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> E.T. Think about E.T. How big E.T. was in Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, anything space. They green light that shit. They don't care what the story's about. They go, you're going to show space and planets in the background. I don't give a fuck what, the, what you guys write. Just show fucking planets in space, okay? We don't give a fuck. I mean, that's, that's so what they're doing with, uh, you know, you guys have older kids. Our kids are almost a little bit, yours is a little older than mine. Uh, but you watch tel kids TV today. All space. It's just space, dinosaurs. Space and dinosaurs. You go to yeah. fucking, you go to the kid, buying clothes. They got dinosaurs and, and space all over their NASA for kids. NASA spends more money on their fucking merchandising department than they do <laughs> going to fucking space. Everybody walking around fucking NASA, NASA. You wear, if you're wearing a NASA t-shirt and it's not a parody, you're not making fun of it, man, they got you. You're in a fucking trance, dog. NASA's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Internet, International Space Station been floating up there for 25 years at going 17,000 oh, miles an hour. No video so of them stupid. putting it up. No video of them pictures putting it up. Like, how the fuck did you put it up there? They, it would just appear. Oh, we got an International Space Station up there. We, we threw it up there last week. 
It's just so And silly. they're going to crash it because they know they can't keep it going forever. Eventually, they, they, they got to Eventually, they got to say, oh, it crashed into the fucking Black Sea or some shit. Watch. They're going to say that. None of my shit. kids believe it. I have a 23, 20, 17. They all, they all know it's doofy as hell. Beautiful. It's doofy. Beautiful. Man. Nobody. It's so stupid. Especially when you see. It's just so doofy. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. They can't keep. <laughs> well, how do we get back? Well, we, uh, we, we lost the. You lost the they information. Destroyed, they destroyed the technology. <laughs> the same they destroyed. Still wearing a mask can, and getting the booster can shot. You, can you find Don Pettit? We, uh, we, I, I would go back to the moon in a nanosecond, except we. Uh, we lost the technology to do that. We destroyed the technology, and it's been a painful Hilarious. process. Yeah, that guy, Don Pettit, that guy is the spokesperson for NASA, and that guy is a hundred percent mentally compromised. Yes, that's what it is, dude. Listen to him talk, Don. One hundred percent. Don Pettit. They yeah. use that guy. It's a joke. That that guy's the. I don't yeah. know what that is. That sounded like that's an artist. <laughs> yeah. That's Don Pettit's band right there. That's what it, sounded like. <laughs> that's what it would sound like if he fucking played guitar. <laughs> Dude, that guy's hilarious. There's there's a Don Pettit in space Instagram a, a profile. Fucking hilarious, dude. They just crushed that dude. Don Pettit in space. <laughs> well, you know, you you kind of watch like all these people who are like the press secretaries for what's going on. And they just sit there, and their whole job is to spin bullshit. Jan Saki, yeah. oh my fucking just god, just spin bullshit. It. Oh my god, yeah, she's a protector. How do they train? How do they decide? They what kind of training did she have? Can you imagine? Like she's fucking good, dude. She's good. They're throwing these motherfuckers are, are, are waking up in front of her, throwing like shit at her, and she's like. You know, he doesn't work for me. I don't, uh, next, boom. He doesn't work for the government, boom. She's so just deflecting all that Hunter Biden shit, man. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. It's just like. The- yeah, but then she tested positive and now she's leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's going Not out. a coincidence. <laughs> oh, Not here we go. Here we go. All the stars. Jim Carrey's going, you know what? I'm not going to act for a while. Here we go. Check Painful this out. Painful process Look. to build it back. Go to the moon. Go, go, re- rewind it one more time. Rewind it one more time. Between the lines, take a listen. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology. <laughs> Destroy. And uh, it's a painful process to build it back good. again. But going to Mars should be uh, one of the next series of steps. Stop. That he Stop would do. It. The first step should be going back to like, the moon for a number of... S- Hold on. We can't go to the moon. <laughs> they destroyed the technology. We destroyed the technology. But we, we should go to Mars. Dude, hashtag destroy technology. <laughs> Hilarious. Should fucking be huge, dude. Hashtag no one, destroy no technology. Me, it's like, dude, that makes zero sense. Yeah, like what, what were they just thinking? said is the greatest statement ever. <sighs> we can't get back to the moon because we don't have the only thing missing is big buck teeth and crossing their eyes we can't get back to the moon because we don't have the technology but we are working on getting to Mars (laughs) (laughs) and there's people going what are you some kind of conspiracy theorist I go yeah, that's what I am. Dude, your parrot, uh, uh, your parrot, like, oh, well, the new variant, the new variant. You can do that with that. We're going to Mars. We're going to Mars. We're going to Mars. We're going to Mars. <laughs> we lost the technology. Going to Mars. Going to Mars. Help Ukraine. Help Ukraine. Putin bad. Putin bad. <laughs> Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, not true, not true. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the funniest oh, shit I've god. heard in a long time. There's a million cockatoos running around the world, dude. Next you could do that like parrot for everything. You could do Forever. that parrot for fucking. Ed. That parrot can be like a character in a cartoon somewhere, man. That's the funniest <laughs> fucking parrot ever, dude. That parrot knows everything. That parrot is just brainwashed. <laughs> It just watches Get and there's the a parrot and they, the ah! they leave oh, CNN God. like like they, they have a parrot in a cage and CNN is on like 24 hours. <laughs> right. 
Right. <laughs> He's just staring at it going. And, and then it's just all day. So when the guy's, when his, his owner comes home, he turns off the TV. He don't have time to watch it. He just wants to hear the parrot. And he gets all this news from the parrot. <laughs> and he goes out there and then he has, he hangs out with his buddies and he's all like, yeah, yeah, you know, we're going to Mars. You hear we're going to Mars? Because <laughs> how do you know I saw, I saw it on the news? My parrot told me. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And I can tell who still watches CNN based on oh, yeah. who is still wearing masks. Yep. Oh, of my God. It used to be really hard to tell how stupid people were, yeah. right? It used to yeah. be really hard. So that's one good thing about the scam, right? The scamdemic is now right away. You want to get into business with somebody? Yeah. You want? You know what? Let's go, let's go meet at fucking California Pizza Kitchen and just see. <laughs> and you get there like t five minutes early and see when he's walking up. Is he wearing a mask up from his car? 100%. You're like, okay, the deal is off, dog. No, no. I am not doing business no. with you if you're fucking wearing a mask no way dog still maybe the first six months i get it you don't know what the fuck's going on you weren't paying attention you were watching fucking football i get it i get it but even joe joe's got a bit where he comes up and he goes dude that first month dude i was scared i was like damn people gonna be dropping he goes but by by december 2020 when someone came up to me and said oh i my neighbor's boss's uncle's best friend died of covid yeah. then he goes, <laughs> was he fat was he yeah. just fat? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, 100%, dude. So Joe admitted it. Joe admitted it like at first he didn't know. I, and you know what, dude? I, before this shit happened, if you were paying attention, you saw that shit a month coming out, a month before it happened. Like, dude, are they going to fucking do a fucking, are they going to do a pandemic? And we're just watching. Yeah. Look, ooh, look what they're doing. And then you look at China, and then they're pretending like they're covering it up. Like, oh, yep. oh, it's going to happen. They go, oh, a new case. We found a case in Seattle or some shit. Three in fucking Miami. Like, oh, they're going to pull this. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. It's green light fucking go. And you know what was green light go about it? Everything was like, oh, uh, uh, projected 33 million people gonna die oh 33 right. new cases in thailand 33 new cases. there was 33 everywhere like yes. I, think, I think that was i would i think that was red team go i think 33 yes. is like red team go everybody goes okay let's do it it's time yeah 100 well, percent dude hey. there's like literally a thousand 33s and yes. 33 new cases 33 people died in, in fucking hong kong and I'm like, Eddie, damn, that's fucking red team go. There. That's I've been red team go. That video. Someone made a someone made a compilation. My wife and I both saw it. The number 33. We all know what that represents. Everywhere, every single day, it was like, well, 12 more cases, which now brings the state to 33. Yes. We had 33 yes. cases today. Yes. We yes. had 11 cases, which now it's 33. 33 more people. I'm going. Oh yep. my. god. God, how dumb do you have to see to not understand this is going on? Yeah, that's, that you know, was green light. That's I'm like, not gonna lie to you. Green light. I, I, I thought, yeah, that was the that was green light. Go, we're off to the races. Yeah. And what I this I they had me. I called bullshit from the. I was on stage calling bullshit. Then it came. My agent was, well, you know, you gotta be careful. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's bullshit. However. When they were, this is when I knew it was full blown bullshit. When they were like, "We need ships and and and, and the hospitals gonna be overflowing." And you remember Trump brought in ships to New Jersey, yeah, and L.A., uh, New York, L.A., Baltimore, nope. Empty. and then what those ships do? They left with no one on them. Yep. And no one said a word. Yeah. No one <laughs> said a word. Yeah, no, nah, it's just, where are the ships going? I thought, yeah, we don't need them. We don't, I'm sorry. What did you just say? The military does not need the extra beds? And we're yeah. just going to pretend we didn't hear that? That was the beginning of, whoa, there's something. This is like a war. We're, yeah. we're in the middle yeah. of a war. Yeah. Well, you know, it was the New World Order just coming out. You know, we've been talking about it. Alex Jones has been talking about it. It's the final Everyone, purge, man. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like when they were telling you, like, the hospitals are overrun. You're like, oh, that's what Look hospitals that. do. Look at this. Look, Look at, at this shit. Hospital. That's, green, that's, that's their signal. Their signal is oh, like. Wow. You got to send that to me. Too. Look I'm at that so shit. glad you're showing this. What? Because Look at that. 33, 33, 33. The sign of the Mason. The sign it's of all the, within of a few months. New World Order and all of it. And, and the fact that people refuse to even acknowledge that is more mind boggling. Those are all articles, right? Like each one you click on? 
Yeah. 33 yeah, exactly. year old. Yep. Um, and you still see it in the news today. 33. I saw, it, I saw it in some feed someone sent me. It was all 33. I'm like, do you not understand what that is? That, that, that means uh, uh, like, it's what time to go. We got that, Johnny. Like, when, like, what are they? Yeah, there's someone that's done. You try to go to the original source for this. It's just like, so ah, John, killed it. But, but there was also a time. What's the 17? Well, there's also. 17 what, is uh, the 17th. When people talk about 17 all the time, that's on the other Trump side says of 33. Trump it all the time. 17, yeah, that, 17, that's 17, Q. 17. That's Q. That's, that's that Q. means, yeah. That's, that's, that's the 17th letter of the alphabet is Q. That's the. That I knew, but like, are they the good? I don't know. Could be a trick. It's either 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 it's good cop, bad cop, or it is the 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 a counter to the new world order. There's either count. Uh, it's we're either experiencing right. a great awakening or the great. Right. Reset. I think we're having. We a don't know. Great we don't, awakening. I think I we really so. are. I, I mean, like so. you could say whatever. I, I I say this, and I'll die on this fucking hill. Like whatever Q was, I get it. You know, trust the patriots, trust the plan, trust Trump. That didn't work. That was such. A, I know that was somewhat of a big thing, but think about, dude. Everyone learned about Epstein. Everybody learned about fucking uh, um, the uh, uh, Russia Gate. All this stuff. All came the from corporations. That. We everything's being exposed now. We're seeing who the fuck is part of the Team Demon, right? There's right. Team Demon and Team Freedom. Now we know who's on Team Freedom and who's on Team Demon. You know what I mean? I know right. Jim Brewer's not on Team Demon, but most of the fucking people in Hollywood movies are. You know, but well, they yes. won't even know they are. I mean, some do, but some are just like bending over backwards in this attempt to go no get they're hit. bending over forwards believe me I'm yeah Hollywood. okay okay <laughs> true 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 but they're taking in the ass in this hopes of this hell mary pass yeah. that gets yeah. completed and they get to all the all the bells and whistles and prizes but none of them ever look happy i mean none of them look happy at all right. i've never seen anybody that got everything they wanted and they seem fucking really happy in hollywood yeah. Now we have friends of ours like Rogan who's doing all this stuff on his own. He seems pretty fucking happy. But the people who work within the system never seem fucking happy. Ever. And they lie to the next generation all the fucking time. Hollywood is crumbling, dude. Who goes in the movies anymore? I'm like, Nobody. Remember, Johnny remember when the movies were a fucking thing you looked forward to? Yeah. And now the, the cool thing is I, I really enjoy and I, I love talking about going back and going back and just going through all the fucking big movies and all the big genres. I love it. Just trying to figure out what the propaganda was because anything that was giant, anything that was blockbuster, in my opinion... It had wow. to be, there had to be some propaganda in it. You know what I mean? When you look at like the whole vampire genre, what is that? It's fucking, it's uh, adrenochrome. It, yeah, it's like getting people to like, like drinking blood for immortality, but in like in a fantasy kind of way. They push vampire like a motherfucker, dude. They push it like biting the neck and girls like getting bit in the neck and then sucking blood. You want to live, you want the deal, to live, you know? And then by the, by the time you want, you fall, like you, you, you start rooting for Dracula. And then the girl's like, oh, I want to bite me so I can live with you forever. Like, are we rooting for Dracula now? Yeah. Yeah. And then Twilight, <laughs> man, Twilight, dude, Twilight, dude, whoever came up with Twilight, they gave that motherfucker an island that would give him an island. Because Twilight was fucking brilliant for the yeah. Illuminati, right? They There's gave that guy two islands. There's a pedophile right? the whole that guy, time. That, guy, that guy's fucking set for life. Dude, there's got to be, there's got to be a, there's got to be an Illuminati. You know, we have our history and we know our history's fake. They probably, they laugh at our history. They make up our, but they got a history. Like all, I think everything's a psychological operation. Everything. I, music, hundred, yeah, music yeah. genres, movies, everything is a psychological operation. So you got to go back and you got to start analyzing everything. You think they right. just started this COVID shit? Like you think they just started this, this new shit? They've been doing COVID forever. <laughs> right. They've been doing COVID forever. This is just a big biggest one where the fucking new world order is finally being exposed you know it used yeah. to be crazy when you said new world order even though george fucking herbert whatever the fucking walker bush he would say it's time for a new world order on national tv time for a new world order it's fucking time for a new world order. and everyone said dude new world order you're crazy go dude that motherfucker's talking about it he's talking about they it they all say it yeah yeah they all say it new world order they new world order they're saying it yeah. New world about, order, new how, world order. Are you into <laughs> new world order? <laughs> <laughs> We're all united.
especially in Europe. The New World Order is not even a dirty word there. They just use it all the time in Europe. It's, it's yeah. like the future. Well, you know, it's so interesting because, like, I think that, you know, whatever the Internet is, it's been a gift to humanity, in my humble opinion. There's a lot of negative that comes with it. We're getting, you know, it's like you got fucking Twitter, you got Instagram, you got Facebook. Yeah, they're collecting our data. But they're also, it's a permanent record. Like, I don't believe any history before the Internet, right? Before I started fucking doing research and everything and checking it out. But now we have this permanent record. Guys, we would have gone to... We would have gone to war with Iran when they attacked our precious drone. You remember they tried to do it? Like, oh, they hit our drone. Oh, my yeah. God, they hit our drone. We, we're like, nah, man, we've seen this before. This Ukraine shit? Dude, when they, those bio lab, that story came out, I got called an idiot. Again, I go, dude, right. how many times they got to be right before you right. go, maybe maybe he's on the cell. We got to start over all the time. They come out with some new shit, and everybody who's like, oh, they're lying about that, they're lying about that, now you believe this shit. Yeah. And then you yeah. got to wait. Time yeah. reveals the truth. And then we got to wait now. Fuck, we got to wait six yeah. more months before I got to, you dumb motherfucker. It's the same people say whatever Pelosi and, no, and Biden, whatever they're saying, it's bullshit. There's just no way. There, there's no way. Whatever's coming out of Pelosi's mouth, whatever she says, well, you, you gotta know, go. With, like, you gotta go with the opposing argument. Oh wait, it's hundred percent. George 100%. Bush death clam, bro. That's yeah. what it is. Like if you get to R's and D's, like dude, Fox News can suck it, man. But you know what, dude? What MSNBC's doing right now is like the most disgusting shit I've ever seen. Crimes this. against humanity. One hundred percent. So the people yeah. who loved Fox News and weapons of mass destruction in the in the year two thousand two thousand two should touch dicks with the people who are in the COVID into Ukraine. Maybe they switched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe they switched. That's the game. They start here. Hey, they're the bad guys. Then they switch over here, just like Democrats, Republicans. It's professional wrestling on a whole level that's just unimaginable. So we're all you from this- looking this way. There are good guys. Oh shit! They're oh my god! Oh shit! You yeah. see, everything's infiltrated at every. When you start running that way, the beast hides behind here. You start running that way, the beast hides over there. But you're exactly right. It is. It's to me, and I've been saying this from the beginning for years, mass media, all of them should be rounded up for crimes against humanity. They've created wars. They have forced wars. They have forced so much murder. You know how many people could have took uh, ivermectin, hydrochloroquine? You know how many people could have been saved? Their lives could have been saved, and it was purposely put to the side it's disturbing it's disgusting but unfortunately there's only a a small group that gets it but the rest of the group now are in that mode of no that can't really happen because they don't believe the boogeyman exists they don't believe pure evil exists and pure evil exists and it is flourishing so when we were young man like we were coming up we were watching like these kind of teen comedies who was the bad guy right who's the bad they were the jocks they were like the hot yeah, girls right. they were all the rich right. white kids yep now right. if you look at like who's the bad guys now it's all the social justice warriors <laughs> it's who are they the rich white kids it's yes. the same kids same thing they're just right. on a different side of the spectrum which is what jim's talking about they just switch teams depending on right. what the new world order wants them to act like so the new world right. order before was all about you know religion but this like crazy extremist religion that was like super weaponized to turn right? people off to, to push people to liberalism yeah that's what it was because right. growing up i always thought i was just democrat i'm like i like to fuck democrats right. like to fuck okay i'm a democrat to me republic they wear suits and they're all about right. family values and they don't like the fuck i'm a democrat you know what i mean right. you know what i mean right. now, so that's that's how everybody like i was trying to be a rock star my whole life i was a musician i'm like i want to have orgies i want to be i want to have fifteen thousand people screaming for me i want to go backstage and have showers with like 20 girls that's what i want because of what i was fed i, I watched kiss when i was eight and they had that oh, that, uh, that nbc movie of the week kiss meets yes. the phantom of the park when they jumped the goddamn shark. They jumped the guy in 1978. Everybody, all the hardcore Kiss fans from the early 70s, that's when they left because all the little kids were all into Kiss. Now, I was one of those little kids. 
I was eight years old. I was one of the reasons why the hardcore Kiss fans left because all of a sudden they're like making NBC movies of the week. And I saw Kiss at fucking Magic Mountain. That, that's where the movie was set. And everyone's screaming and yelling. And I'm like, fuck. I don't, you know, my dad was never around. I was like, you know, star for love. I'm like, I, I want to be on stage and people want loving me. So my whole life was dedicated to that lifestyle. They got me good, man. They fucking it's, got me good. Yeah. But now, you yeah, know, I'm 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 deprogrammed from that shit, man. If yep. you know, thank God my music sucked because if it was good and I would have got signed, <laughs> if I, if it was good and I got signed in my twenties, shit, I don't know, man. Right. I would have been if someone would have said, "Hey, dude, you want to go to a fucking island and party with all these bitches?" I'd be like, "Fuck yeah!" Because dude, there's a billionaire. He's out in the fucking Caribbean. He's got this island. Let's go, go to private jet. <laughs> I would have fucking went. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> We're like, why are all people brought their kids? Like, no, dude, those are the bitches. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck did you drag me into? You know what I mean? Thank God my music sucked. Dude, I'm telling you, this <laughs> this Republican guy, which I who I think is shady as shit, anyways, he kind of came out because he was like doing red flag laws. He's like, you don't understand, man. The reason I did this is so because all these vets have guns and this rule and blah blah. I'm like, you're full of shit, bro. But he was talking about how how uh, he would go to these orgies. And he, like, have you seen this guy? He came out, he said he goes to cocaine-filled orgies. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right? Who's this guy? Graham, yeah, he just came Graham out. Graham California. Yeah, yeah. And where's he from? North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, isn't he the guy that, like, was... He's in a wheelchair. Is he in a wheelchair? This yeah. guy's in a wheelchair? He is, yeah, yeah. You, they just never show him from the... You know, cocaine from the and orgies. So people uh, were inviting sorry. the guy in the wheelchair to cocaine and orgies. Well, and they had him, and, and you see, they pulled him aside. You know, they had the the, the head of the, the House Republicans was like, "I'm going to give him a good talking to," and he pulled him into a little side meeting, and he admitted he admitted, quote unquote, that he was lying about that. So. Oh, they just put did exactly. They got, you don't him, think that's, they got you don't him. Think that's what got him into? No, the, that's into, what that's what that, they that Hicks thing, dude. It's that Hicks thing about pulling you into the room with the guys with the cigars. That's why he he met those guys after he said that. I guarantee it. I bet you they lined up to hit that fucking wheelchair guy and just you know, fucking bang him in the ass. You know what? Uh, what's not mm. good for the? I think I think the Illuminati strategy. I think that like they have like think the think tanks are like, how can we? Any kind of way we can destroy the family, we'll fucking we'll we'll, uh, we'll, fund, it. About, we'll fund it. fund Operation destroy the family. Yeah. Operation and and they probably figured out that self sufficient people that live out in you know uh, it, it, with their own farms and shit that's not good for the new world order. So right. I think you look at movies they deem they try to scare you away from the woods and they demonize like self sufficient people. They turn them into hillbillies. Look at Deliverance. Right. Deliverance. To me, right. to me, that was the demonized people that were self self sufficient. What, what did they do to those guys that were just like city guys that just wanted to go on a canoe trip? They butt fucked them. <laughs> they butt fucked them. That was the ultimate boom. You wanna you wanna go out in the woods? There's people that butt fuck you. Yeah. And so people right. didn't want to go to the woods. Look at all slasher films. They all go to the woods. Always. And boom, it's always in the woods. And what are you? You're trying to get back to the city. As soon as you see the city, you're safe. They run back to the city, dude. Right? We would talk for hours. This is this, <laughs> and this is what me and my friends were talking about for hours. Oh, you guys have you but, guys have figured that out too? This is a recent oh thing for me. Oh my god! I've the slasher so films long, so long ago. It's so obvious when you see it. Yeah, but other people's other people don't see it that way. It's just like horror film, which is fine. But like. I see exactly what you say. Like they clearly want you out of the woods. Yeah. You don't want to be in there. You don't want to be self sufficient. You don't want no. to be growing farms. Yeah. It's and this this plan's been around for a long, long time. And then what about time. Jaws? Jaws. Yeah. You don't want to go out. They don't want you out in the fucking deep in the ocean. They don't want you. They want you in the land in the city. If you want to go out and fish like on the shore, that's fine. Okay. But we can't have you going by Antarctica. You can, we can't have you going too far south because you'll have a fucking military 100%. escort. You know what I mean? You can't just go out to Antarctica. They dude. think, oh, yeah, I have a friend who went out there and he saw the South Pole. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so shut problem. the fuck up with that. So, yeah. problem. After the first so movie, hard to go. After the first movie that was made, how long till they started fucking putting a narrative in every movie? Dude, like, they... Like, I, I, think that's what the mo I think that's uh, what movies were f made for. I think entertainment was uh, right from the get-go. Uh, 
it had to be hijacked. Like it wasn't like uh, like TV shows it was like, hijacked. Like uh, right away. Like I think I'll I think, think TV was tell a vision. Yes, tell a vision. Yeah. What about those tell five chicks? The View. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're telling right. you your view. How yeah. many times you watch election coverage? Here's what you saw. They're telling you. It's not called right. scheduling. It's called right. programming. Yeah. It's programming. Right. For sure. It's from not- day one. I think television from day one. I think it was the radio at first. Radio at first. Yeah. And then the yes. new one, the new one. They had a fucking Illuminati Davos meeting. They go, dude, check this out. Can you imagine when they presented the goddamn TV and the Rockefellers were like, oh my God. Dude, it's Facebook. fucking brilliant. The fucking TV was brilliant. Everyone's like just sitting in front of the TV. And then people, would, when they saw TV for the first time, they're like, finally, finally, we're not going to be brainwashed anymore. We're going to finally be able to see what's going on all over the world. And we're going to be educated. Finally. Now they're in we're your house. Know the truth. Now yeah. they're in yeah. your house, yeah. Yeah. dude. Yeah. They're in your living room. They're putting their people in your fucking yeah, it was living brilliant. room. That dude. dude got a continent. Whoever yeah. came up with yeah. TV, yeah. Yeah. that guy is in the Illuminati. He's Probably like fucking George. Australia. He's like the George Washington, the fucking Illuminati. Yeah, they got fucking, right. they got gigantic fucking Easter Island type statues of that <laughs> motherfucker. The television guy, they learn, the Illuminati kids learn about that shit in the first grade. I mean, the guy's like George fucking Washington, dog. You know what I mean? That guy, dude. Imagine how many kids that guy fucked. The story of Facebook, the movie is a blatant propaganda lie. It wasn't, dude, they took right. Life Log, gave it to right. Mark Zuckerberg because he's probably right. a Rothschild or a Rockefeller. Right. Yeah. Gave it to him, told those Winkle, those Winkle Voss twins, play ball, act like he jacked it from you, and we're going to give you a billion dollars. How to do it? They became, it just had to be they're the first bill, Bitcoin billionaire. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, the Facebook think movie. About, Are you kidding me? The Facebook when, movie? It's a what? lie. What? The whole thing's a lie. Yeah. It's straight propaganda. Think about the beginning of MTV. Oh shit, are you kidding me? How do you grab an entire young generation? They did they discover this over and over and over. Music. And that was one. That's another one that's right up there on the big island like and oh. here we have the creator of MTV. <laughs> <laughs> Generation. They're like, they're like yes, yes. They're like, just, you're just like, oh. <laughs> look at this moron dressed like the lead singer of Duran Duran. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, I, I totally believe every musical genre is a psychological operation. I think oh, hair no, metal, no. hair metal was operation. Get guys that look like chicks, dude. Yes. They got poison. Make they go. Up. Dress the problem like was kid. the problem was they blew it up and it worked great. Dude probably got an island for fucking hair metal. You Dude probably got an island for hair metal. I had long hair. I had the hoop earrings. I didn't look like poison. I was like more Guns N' Roses <laughs> Slayer. I was more like Guns N' Roses Slayer. But I appreciate they made looking like Barbie dolls a- attractive to yes. women. Women yep. wanted to fuck dudes that looked like Barbie. It was like they That's were right. almost there. They were almost to the transgender. But it was they're like, dude, but they're still fucking chicks though yes. damn they're so yeah. close and then they decided they came they came to the new davos and they go we yeah. got a new one hair metals uh, the, the, as you see the charts hair metal is di- kind of dying and they go dude we have some people working in seattle they got a lot of heroin in we seattle. Got this agent, we're gonna Love. change this we're gonna <laughs> change this we're going to fucking we're going to, we're going from let's party and fuck as many chicks as we can raw dog to yep. let's kill ourselves they'll cut their yes. hair they'll cut their hair they're gonna kill themselves in their own heroin and they're yeah. like island yep. give, give him an island. island give him an no, another, no, another, no. another no. island for him yeah. yep. everybody gets yeah. an island give this boy an island you know who's and in the boom, biggest they, island they pulled oh. the whoever created gangster rap of course, that guy. Oh, that, that guy, guy got the whole island. island. That guy got Destroyed a, a piece community. of Greenland, dog. Yeah. That guy got a piece of Greenland. He got his own section. He got a. He's got his own border and he shit. Got something they got on the other own, side. They got Antarctica. their own internal oh, problem. You probably got some uh, whatever. One of the real continents. Can you on the imagine? Other side. Can you imagine life on Illuminati fucking continent? <laughs> 
where nobody knows. Would that it's not be a Pleasure it's just, Island? It's just like a, in a continent where they all, they all, when they all get busted out, they go, okay, dude, you, you got a lot of heat. We're going to have to pretend you We're going to send you to Pleasure send, Island. And then they all just live out their, 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 their lives in, in fucking Pleasure Continent, right? Yeah, yeah. They all go to Pleasure. Imagine what that life is. Like, what is, they still need people like workers. How do they get the oh, workers I know, I know. There? It's those people right. who How disappear. It's those people who disappear right. in national How, parks. They just show up and they put put the work. Imagine, right imagine yeah. a show. Imagine a show about a family that lives on Illuminati continent. Nobody knows about it. They got their own history. <laughs> their bosses are Illuminati, and it's just a family. They live there. They're servants. They have to take in the yeah. ass every now and then. You know what I mean? You don't just clean. Eddie. You don't just clean their house. You got to suck their dick too. You know what I mean? It's like working for Arnold. There's no cops. Eddie. There's no cops on Illuminati. Island. Cartoon there. <laughs> I think you got a cartoon series right there. That's a great cartoon series. The two major guys going, "What shall we think of next?" <laughs> And they put me in the think tank. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me my adrenochrome. <laughs> Dude, and you know, there's a they got commercials on an Illuminati continent where like they're like new fucking adrenochrome, you know? Because yeah. you know, there's people yeah. there. Yeah. You look at some motherfuckers. They ain't drinking the good shit. Some of them <laughs> motherfuckers are just like right. They're just regular people. They're just regular people. They're just taking the jack in the box yeah. adrenochrome. They got an, an, an Illuminati fucking continent. They got adrenochrome drive-throughs. Yeah, but yeah. that that shit's low quality. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you, there's certain motherfuckers. You look at them and like, damn, that guy's getting the good shit. That guy's getting the good shit. You know, I don't want to say any names, but say you know, some names. You know, some guys are getting the good shit at the top, and then some guys are getting the bad shit damn yes some guys are yes. getting you look at you're like dude you need to fucking get your shit together not all adrenochrome is the same that's hillary right? hillary's you're, getting you're, the bad shit you're, you're, you're adrenochrome bad shit. your adrenochrome is homogenized dog you can't homogenize it kills all the fucking it kills all the adrenaline they cut the clintons off for sure dude <laughs> <laughs> they're falling apart oh, no, they're, get, they're getting the bad sh they're not getting the good shit they're getting that that's jack true. in the box adrenochrome for sure Biden Biden the jack in box. Yeah. Biden too? the drive through adrenochrome believe, i don't even believe that's hillary i i, I don't buy one did that are you, are you a clone person i don't believe that's biden i don't believe that's hillary it's a look at i'm like that's not that man that's, that yeah. doesn't look anything like well that. eddie has a theory that biden is playing this game so he could get out of charges so they think he's like i think he's pretending to be stupid like he's like oh, i can't think for myself I can't think. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I mean, that's not my I know, theory. I, 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 don't I believe it, but other going, people have said but that. But it's weird. Yeah, other it's people weird. Have it's said all weird. I don't know where it's going. I, I don't I, Sometimes I think it's out there on purpose. Like, how does, how does nobody address how wacky this is? Like, nobody addresses how, the madness of this you all. think it's everything's just, a conspiracy how about those guys like we just oh went God. through we I just went through like so two I years did. of this fucking psychological operation and you're gonna tell that's like telling a total lie like saying something about a total liar a guy nobody trusts total liar then he says some new shit and then you say that's bullshit too like you don't believe anything he says you think everything he says is bullshit I'm like yeah, yeah that's all he, all he does is lie that's all he does is right. lie. You're going to believe right. some new shit? You think everything he says is a lie. You're stupid. Yeah. Why wouldn't you question yeah. everything? It's fucking free. As soon as you start, as soon as, dude, this whole fucking scamdemic, as soon as they came out and said, listen, it turns out this test we've been using to, to get all these fucking numbers can't tell the difference between COVID and the <laughs> flu. Uh, it's whoops. over. It's over. It's over. That's uh, it. Like, like, that, how does that get past people? Like, yeah, yeah. There is no test, dog. There is no test. It's a flu test. It's been a flu test this whole time. The guy who invented the test said it, it doesn't work to detect viruses. It finds dead RNA. It, it can tell if you have a cold or a flu. It's a flu test. They've been using it for fucking, for all the numbers this whole time. And you still think this shit's real? Nobody, nobody's died in the UFC. Nobody's died in the NFL. Right. Nobody's died in baseball. They, a, lot of motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers get COVID. They get test positive. And, but no one, when, when like Nick Chubb got fucking COVID, no one went to his parent to interview his mom and dad. Is he going to make it? Yeah. Is he going to make it? What do you go? Oh my God. Let's pray. Prayers for Nick Chubb. All anybody thought, including myself, was like, God damn, how many games is he going to miss? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then he's on TV going, I feel fine, but apparently I can't play. I feel good. But 
but I guess I'll have to wait two it's weeks. It's crazy, dude. They started now. Imagine if they said everybody went like just a cough. They announced on Sports Center. Yeah. They were coughing. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. AJ Johnson was seen coughing the other day. He has a cough. Who knows how many games he'll be out? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the end game uh, is one day none of that exists. It's all turned off. It's all unplugged. And I've been saying that forever. It's, it's, it's the only way where, unless it really turns into V Van, like Vendetta, and someone takes over the airwaves and exploits everything for a week straight, the most truthful images that most people can't handle. I think that's the only way this is all going to change is when it's, in, and, and we're not going to get everyone. You're going to have people that are still, you got to remember what we've been, what we've been programmed in life since we're born. It's worse than heroin. People still need it. It's, it's more addicting than people need to be like, what's going on and what, what's going on. About? Because they've been, they've been indoctrinated and there's nothing they can do about it. So the end game is you can only wake up so many people. You can only project love. Now you can spread all the hate we want. You can't, it's not working. You got to go for the people that are lost. Let's pray to God. They'll find it one day. But in the meantime, warriors like yourself and people that can think we have to just press on and just be aware of what's going on and prep as they continue to bring this evil. And that's all we got is tell people and just keep spreading it. I mean, like that Disney thing I showed you, you know how many people never saw that clip and now they'll go, oh, it is kind of weird. I guess that is kind of weird. Yeah, I guess it is kind of weird that we can't get to the moon anymore, but we're going to Mars. But it's, it's going to take so much time. But I don't know. I don't know what the end game is, but I will say this. I enjoy talking about it. Uh, and the one thing, too, is people want to go back to normal and all that shit. It's not going to But, but, but uh, we needed this shit. We have to go through this shit. Yes. And however it I ends agree. up, however it ends up, you know what? The alternative was it didn't get exposed and we didn't go through this and we'd be still living in the fucking matrix. Because anytime I see right. uh, like uh, images from the 90s or shit going on in the 90s or the 2000s, I look at that as, oh, look, when everybody was under a trance. You yes. know, like everybody was under a trend. Yes. So we have to, we, like, I'm looking at this. I hated it too. I'm like, damn, I don't want to wear masks. Damn, I don't want right. to have to fuck, fuck the vaccine passports. Right. But now I look at it as a blessing in disguise because it's, right. it's done a lot of good. I mean, it's, it's made me way closer to the people that I love the most. It's made me way mm. closer to them, way closer, yeah. including my wife. We're, we're, we never exchanged conspiracy theory uh, links before. Now we do. Now she's all about she goes oh my god she thought i was half crazy before you know and now she's like damn you were right so we're tighter than ever and all my, my students at, at my school we're fucking tight we play after we do jujitsu we play i got a studio set up at my jujitsu school i got a piano guitars and after we train at night we fucking pour a little drinky poo smoke a little weed and we jam <laughs> and we fucking make comedy fucking covid songs and i've been there just, i've been yeah, there yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, we do that yeah. we do that all the goddamn time. All, and yeah. I would have never done that. The songs would have never been written. It, we would never be jam I would never be jamming with my students if this if it did was it wasn't for this fucking scamdemic. So there's a lot of we have to go through this shit. And I hope yes. it ends well. But if it doesn't, yeah. we were fucked anyways, man. Because if we would have just stayed like we were in the two thousands where everybody thought Obama was like, Oh, he's the savior, like Jesus yeah. goddamn Christ. They were we, we had to end this because it was we were going right yes. towards full blown China. We were becoming China, and I don't know what you know. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. I was you know you know I, I was I, I never trusted Republicans or Democrats. Once I you know nine yep. eleven hit, I was like, look at the Bushes. They're Republican. Those are the yep. fucking those are the lead demons. The Bushes are yep. the lead demons, and then you have yep. Clinton. I was balls deep in Clinton and the Clinton body count and all that. I'm like the Democrat. Like I had no faith in the government at all. I, all, all I was into is is going the study in the Clintons, study in the Bushes, study in 9-11. I was not paying attention to everyday political life. I didn't know who my fucking governor was like before all this bullshit. I didn't know Newsom was the governor. I had no idea who our mayor was. I wasn't paying attention right. because I didn't have faith in any of it. I thought they were all criminals, right? 
And then here comes Trump. I never paid attention to Trump at all. Trump was, I, I never even seen this fucking uh, let's make a deal show or whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> I never seen that shit. I never seen that shit. I, all I knew about Trump, yeah. rich billionaire dude, banged a lot of models, and he was good friends with Mike Tyson, always put him on in the Trump Taj Mahal. Didn't know him at all. All I know is people were saying, dude, our government's so fucked. Trump is fucking getting all sorts of ratings. I'm like, I told you guys, it's all fucked. I told you. And then Joe would say, dude, Trump is fucking I'm gonna win the Republican nomination. I'm like, I told you, dude. I didn't know nothing about Trump. I go, this all. I, and he goes, oh, he's fucking racist too. I go, he probably is. I don't know. Not paying attention. Not paying. Oh, dude, he hates Mexicans. I'm like, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. You know, wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention. And then, dude, it's between Trump and Hillary. I go, dude, Hillary's gonna win. I saw that shit. Of course they're gonna put Hillary in. Of course they are. I balls deep in the the history of the Clinton shit. When when uh, uh, the Mena, Arkansas, all the cocaine trade, all that shit. I was obsessed with that shit. I go, of course they're going to put Hillary in. She's a fucking queen, fucking uh, satanic witch, of course. And then, then I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's why she's running with Trump. Hillary's going to win. Hillary's going to win. And Trump talking a lot of shit. I can't believe it. I go, dude, it's a circus now, right? It's a circus. I told you it's a circus. And then I heard Trump start saying, uh, calling CNN fake news, fake news, fake news. And I go, what is he saying? He's saying CNN fake news? Trump? Really? Huh. Let me look into Trump. What did he say? Okay, what did he say about Mexicans? I go, yeah, dude, he's racist. He fucking hates. He calls them criminals and animals. I go, really? Shit. Show me that video. Where's the clip? Who has the link? Right. Anybody got the link? Let me, show, let me see the link. And then you go, oh, my God. That's why he's calling CNN fake news because they edited that clip. He was talking, about, right. he was talking about criminals and animals coming right. through the border. He wasn't saying that Mexicans were. No. I mean, can you imagine... I mean, people it's, believe people believe Trump said Mexicans are animals and criminals. Yeah. If he really said that, dude, that dude would have no votes. Even right. racists wouldn't even fucking vote for that dude. Right. So I'm like, how are people saying this? My whole family, well, I got a big Mexican family. They're like, fuck Trump. They're on Instagram, fuck Trump, fuck Trump. And I looked into it, I'm like, dude, they fucking, they both, they edited this shit. This yep. is bull. So then I'm like, damn, yep. CNN's really going after him. I go, damn, yep. he, what is he saying? And then I don't know if he's a trick or not. He could, it could be good cop, bad cop, but I like what yep. he was saying. I'm like, oh, he's an outsider. He's not part of the, he's not a yep. politician. Oh shit. Is there a chance that what he's saying is true? What is he saying? Right. Everything that he says, I'm like, I, I don't have any problem with that. Uh, he's yep. totally pro First Amendment. I like First Amendment. Fuck yeah. The left is against it. Why are you against the dog? What's what? They're against Second Amendment. They're all talking about gun control. I'm like, fuck that. I want my guns, dog. Fuck right. that. I know what the government's about. We need our fucking guns. And I'm like, you know what? Trump's pro-gun, pro-fucking First Amendment. He wants to build a wall. Yeah, you want to build a wall. I want immigrants to come in, but God damn, you got to vet them. You can't just let everybody walk in. Try, try right. going to fucking Canada. Try going to Canada. Try going to Japan. You want to live in Japan? Go over there. Right. You see how, right. how hard it is. So, yeah, you got to vet motherfuckers. You just can't have an open border. I agree with that right. shit. Vet these yeah. motherfuckers. We want, you got a woman escaping from poverty and she's got children. Bring that bitch in. I love it. Right. But you got criminals trying to sneak in and pretend they, they're child trafficking and all these drugs right. are coming through and all this human trafficking. I'm like, yeah, we, it's a good idea to probably uh, vet these people, uh, make a border, I guess, go to Canada, see how hard it is. And then, so little by little, I'm like, I'm not a Republican. Never voted in my life, never registered. But damn, I like what they're saying. They're like, anti-mask. I'm anti-mask. I'm anti all that bullshit. They're anti-vaccine uh, password. Texas, damn. Texas look good. Florida, damn. I went to Tampa, checked it out. I'm like, I might live in this motherfucker. You know, so um, I'm not Republican. I'm not registered at, at, at any kind of voting ever. Never voted for Trump, but I like what the guy, what he was saying. And I'm like, if he's saying, the, if, what, if, what, if he's not full of shit, if he ain't playing good cop, bad cop, he could be. I don't know. I, I don't know who to believe. But if he's legit, that's the greatest president of all time. If he's Eddie, legit. If he's legit. He could be faking I, it. He could be faking it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I will say this. I got I, I to gotta go. However, everything you just said, everything, is to the T what I went through. Literally. I sat there and I went... Jesus Christ. It, it's professional wrestling. Of course, Hillary's going to win. And the minute, you know, I had some friends going, dude, he ain't like the others. Like he, he just, he, he, you can't buy him, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once he won, I saw how hard they went after him. And, and the first thing I really saw was you said the Mexicans. I'm like, 
He didn't say that. No, the first thing they say is they made fun of a special needs guy. And if you watch it, he's not making, he's like, oh, and then he was like, uh, uh, you know, that's the way I described everyone. Like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, and then it was the, the racist, or like he approved of white supremacy, where he clearly didn't say that. They were like, oh, like he, he said inject bleach. My mind was blown. The stupidity and the lack of knowledge of people that buy that hook, line, and sinker without watching the entire clip. But that's how powerful, and just like you said, Eddie, if he was the real deal, greatest in history. I don't know if he's good cop, bad cop, but boy, I can use a mean tweet right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got to rock and roll, man. This, this, you, can Jim. I come back? Can I come back? Hell dude, yeah. Hey, we should talk. do a comedy show together, dude. We're doing something fucking big, dude. Let's do it. <laughs> you tell me, and uh, I haven't been to California in a while. No, we'll, do, we'll go anywhere. Where do you hey, live, Florida? Will you fly to LA, bro? I'm in Florida. You're in Florida? Let's if it's with you guys, I would. We're if gonna, it's with you guys, uh, I would. You want to do what? the comedy store main room, May 4th? Is oh. it possible? Comedy I have store. to look into that. May 4th. Hold on a second. Look at uh, your face. Oh, I, don't, I think I got a gig, man. All right. We'll figure it out, bro. We'll make it happen. We'll on make Wednesday. it happen. Let's connect that. Dude. This, Let's this do a pay-per-view, bro. Let's do a live show where we just talk shit on stage. No stand-up. Just look Hell three yeah. of us. Let's fucking just do it. like that. We'll Hell do yeah. a pay-per-view. We'll Let's charge. fucking do it. All right, and man. right now, all I can do is sit and tell stories. I can't hop around. This guy, all right, yeah, dude. So. Hell yeah. Jim, it Thanks was great. Me. You guys I appreciate you, dude. And, uh, yeah. you know, I want to talk to you about Rockfin sometime. I know you got Jim, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> Get you on Let's there and join all. all the savages over there. Jim, thanks. One more time. Where the, where are they where can they find you? And what is I'll your just podcast? Just go to jimbrewer.com. You'll find me. All right, man. Thank you so much, Jim. It was a pleasure. Later, guys. Thank Great you. Podcast. Hey, have a good one. Thank Take you, care, man. I appreciate it. Don't, uh, dude, that was a fun show, man. He's awesome, fun. man.